Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download resource facts both on your client and your server. Firstly, we're going to be downloading a resource pack. Once you've found one that you like, just make sure it's compatible with the version that you want your server or client to be. Since I'll be setting my server and client to the most recent Minecraft version, this texture pack is compatible. This means I'm free to press the download button. Then I'll wait a couple seconds and that should instantly download the resource pack file. If the website you're using to download a resource pack is different, just follow the steps accordingly. Once the download is complete though, we recommend dragging that plugin file to our desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. Now for your resource pack to show up in game, you're going to have to make sure it's in the right folder. For this step, you're going to want to press the Windows key and the R key at the same time on your keyboard. That's going to open up this small tab. What you want to do here is type percentage, update a percentage, and then press enter. That'll open this files explorer window. Scroll down until you see the .minecraft folder and click it. Then find the folder named resource packs. What you do here is drag in the resource pack zip you downloaded at the beginning of the video. And that's it, the resource pack should now show up in game. To make sure everything is working as intended so far, you're then gonna wanna open up your Minecraft launcher. Make sure the version desired is selected and then press play. When Minecraft fully boots up, press the Options tab and then the Resource Packs tab. There you'll be able to see the resource pack you dragged in earlier. All you have to do is enable it and press Done and when your game is finished loading, you'll be able to explore your world with the new texture pack. It's important to note as well that you can stack resource packs by selecting multiple at the same time. Now, to be able to install resource packs on your server, you need to have a server. If you don't have one, make sure to get one or purchase one, but if you already have one, then you can proceed into the server's control panel. Make sure that your server is set to the version your resource pack is based on, and before proceeding, make sure your server is offline. First things off, you need to obtain a link to your resource pack. To obtain a link of your resource pack, you have to upload it to Dropbox or any website that supports creations of hotlinks. For example, I've uploaded my resource pack to Dropbox, so all I have to do is copy the link on the address bar. Once you've got that link, return to your server and head into the files section. There you want to open up the server.properties file and look for the line saying resource pack. After the equals, you want to right click and paste the link to the required resource pack. Then you just need to make sure to put a 1 in front of the download link instead of a 0 and that's it. Your resource pack is now installed on your server. Before continuing, make sure to press save file to confirm the changes and then all you have to do is log into your server to experience the new additions. You can do this by turning on your server. After it's booted up, head to the dashboard and copy the host name. Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click add server and in the server address section, paste the host name. When you join the server, you'll be prompted with this pop-up asking if you want to download and install the required texture pack. We recommend pressing yes so every time you join the server in the future, it'll be automatically enabled. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.